Having had success in Division 3 in the Amateur League in the 70s and after five consecutive premierships in the reserves through the 90s, Old Ignatians have made a concerted effort to push for higher honours in the future. Having risen to Div 2 this season, earning a place in the top tier is also on the cards. Uh, goals for this year, um, obviously everyone wants to play finals and that's a goal of ours. Um, but continued improvement is obviously right up there and we've We've got a very talented side this year, so it's all about achieving potential. What about uh, playing at Thebby on the weekend? That must have been exciting for the boys and a good initiative by the Amateur League. You, you get the gate, it works pretty well. Uh, it certainly is. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's nice to play on the big grounds and, and, the, and the good decks. Our, our oval, everyone knows, isn't, isn't the best, but um, yeah, it's nice to play on the big grounds. Played in Div 3 last year, coming up to Div 2 this year. How's the side handled it? How have the group handled it? The group's handled it reasonably well. Um, everyone has obviously noticed the step up. It is a big step up from Div 3 to Div 2. Um, and we've certainly noticed that in the first four rounds. What have been the most notable thing? Uh, just the pace, uh, certainly the pace of the game. Um, the pressure around the ball is obviously a lot, a lot stronger. And the teams in Division 2 this year are, are right up there. So it's going to be a tough comp. What about the coach? Tell us a bit, a bit about Joe Peddler. He looks like a fiery customer. How has he handled the situation? He is. Uh, he's a very passionate guy. Um, I'm obviously new to the club this year as well um, and yeah, he's, a, he's very impressive, he's a, he's a good teacher and um, yeah, like I said, he's very passionate and he's, he's wanting us to do our best so yeah, if you see it three quarter time he got a little bit fired up, he went over 10 goals up but um, yeah, he's, he's, definitely, he's definitely getting us in the right direction. Next week we'll update all the leading goal kickers across the first grade teams in the Amateur League but if you'd like to check out the leaders for yourself, Visit the website, it's on the screen. But the player with the most goals at the end of, uh, end of the home and away season will take home a great prize, a Queen Ensemble, thanks to Dreamland and AH Beard, formerly Sleephaven. Throughout the season, we'll also have some Ultara Cook and pillow sets to give away. Dreamland supporting Simply Footy and Amateur League Footy in this state.